Well, hey, Internet, this is Steve. Hi, Leah. And Leah, she's my safety officer. We're yep. back in the deep woods again, mm -hmm. uh, talking with Benny and Ted. They, I don't think these this section of woods, when I look on a satellite in Texas, I don't think it's ever been logged. So I really appreciate the generous offer. So I'm removing the, uh, the cedar that's killing the oak. So we don't want oak wilt. So I'm removing that cedar. And then when I'm done with that, saving the oak trees that are in this deep forest, I'll go ahead and um, pull stuff out of the bulldozer lines for the fire breaks. So, but this is a pretty deep mm -hmm. forest, isn't it? it? Is. And uh, both of the owners of this had said uh, they're real proud of it. And they said, and I am too. They said, Steve, really? I don't want ever, and I, I don't want this to ever change. And I really truly hope uh, that that's it's mm -hmm. true. Nature need we've won as humanity, right? We've won the whole world. Let's try to make a little hole in the in the world for animals to find a home, right? So, but anyway, I'm going to pull this bulldozer uh, a tractor off. I exaggerated. Pull this tractor off. We'll go around. We'll look at the four or five trees uh, that Ted marked for me. I'm going to drop them all on the ground and hopefully get them loaded up. The rain is a coming. Leah doesn't know if we're going to make it. She's my safety officer slash weather girl slash mm -hmm. Vanna White. <laughs> No. Yeah, we'll see. All right, let me get this pulled off of here. Okay, so let me close our doors. If you want to grab the big chainsaw, the little chainsaw on that battery, and take it over to the fire hydrant. Or we could load it up on the back of this tractor. We'll do that. All right, so this is a little trailhead here, and we've got an oak, ancient oak. I bet you this is 300 years old. This is why we're guessing about the age of this. Uh, but wow. this oak is being crowded out by these cedars, which will get in a canopy. So if the cedars catch fire, the oak's dead. Yep. Plus they're starving it for water. So I see one, two, three, four spray painted. One, two, three, four. Right here. Now what you didn't see is Lee and I came yesterday and already made a game plan of how we're gonna start. So you're gonna see me jump in, just start cutting. But mm -hmm. it's because we already talked about the order that we're gonna do these. And the whole, whole deal is to try to make a hole in the canopy so they don't get tangled. So the first tree will drop and then the second tree, I might drag them off and load them uh, so they don't get all dropped on yeah. each other. Mm -hmm. it, it's pretty much a tangled mess in there, isn't it's, it? It's, yeah. And there's a weird tree when it's down, I'm hoping, and it's got a fork in it, a great big fork in it that looks like the Eye of Saran, doesn't well, it? Well, and it's like the biggest out of all uh, all of them because there's like, uh -huh. it was like there's well, three It was in there. three trees that yes. had, were so close that yeah. they grew together. I want that for my Charlie log for my reciprocal mm -hmm. ceiling, which the Charlie log holds up the first log you put in. Normally you pull it away, but this thing is so awesome mm -hmm. that I'm hoping to save it. I think it'd be a showpiece, especially uh, if I could drill it out and run electric conduit down it and have power boxes and have it near a sofa. Mm -hmm. Don't know yet. Haven't done the math, but that's how the wheels are going. Without further ado, I'm going to put you on stop motion. Leah, you want to say timber before we start? Mm -hmm. Okay, say timber into there. No, you can't say until the tree's falling. It doesn't count. But it will be in stop it's motion. They won't get to hear I'll you. Still say, say timber. It. Okay. All right. When I get close to that, we'll we'll turn on each and time and let Leah say not. timber. I gotta say it when it falls. All right. Okay. Here we go. Timber when it falls. All right. I'm ready to make the fouling cut on that tree, Leah. That notch took me a little bit of effort in the stop motion because the, bro the brush was pushing my blade away. That was a pain in the neck. All right, I got a little thread and this has got a little lean yep. and there's branches. I'm hoping it doesn't get caught in. I want to like right, right there. there. Yeah. 
I'll, I'll cut it at a little angle to, to help it along. enough branches up there but I was thinking that it would hang there yeah. I did say that I think it'll twist out of there almost oh, listen that wasn't half bad But that's why we're doing them in the order we're doing them, yes. because there's no room in the canopy for them to just come down. Did you yell timber? I did. All right, Leah got the timber out of there. Now that's not quite a widow maker. I feel comfortable getting the tractor on it and just pushing it off. And uh, so let me go ahead. I will back up and move the tractor. So let me get that over here, because I think I'll drag the logs out here and just load it. Get that. Let me get that tree out of the brush so that I don't have a dangerous situation. Maybe I'll load one of these and then stop motion everything else. When I did the math for two years, six hundred dollars, and uh, you know it, it hurts. I'm just saying we just saved a hundred dollars yesterday canceling subscriptions. Yeah, please. we did. Yeah. Wow. All right. So okay. uh, you'll need to step back a little oh. bit. And uh, I think that it's pinched in there now. Texas humidity is the real deal. Man, this one's half dead. That oak tree's gonna be so happy. Oh, wait, 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 time out. I thought it was this one you were doing next. Because oh, no. you wanted this to uh, fall. I want this one. Oh, okay. Because okay. I want, that one's bigger. I want maximum room for it to fall. So okay. I'm doing the littler ones first.
That's underneath so much tension it yes. already pinched my saw. Wow, so. no, okay. I'm gonna make a little bird's mouth and then drop it. I, it wants to fall okay. already. Or I'm hitting steel. It's not falling yet. Uh, I'm seeing sparks flying out from my blade. All right, well that one I didn't do a bird's mouth on. Why would it be steel in there? I, I don't know. Stones grow with the trees, so maybe it was a stone. Okay, so uh, you all saw it sparking, but look up in the canopy. See how it's got all that tension on it from the tr oak tree pushing on it? So I'm just going to cut a notch on it. Normally I like to cut a notch mm -hmm. and put a safety hinge on it, but it's pinching my saw blade so much it won't let me make the safety notch, and I don't have my wedges with me right now, so I'm just going to make the angle. Yeah. And hopefully the oak tree just pushes it, you know. <clears throat> That's a lot of weight pushing on it up there, isn't it? Yeah. And I'll cut down at an angle like this, maybe a little higher than normal. Yeah. Try to get out of whatever it was that was sparking. It's hung up. Let me release the hinge a little bit. Timber, timber, timber! Nope. nope. It's thinking about it's it. It's thinking about it. That's where that first mouth comes in so handy. Ah, but I still dropped it right where I wanted it. All right. Oh, and then that broke it. So I ended up with a safety hinge anyway, so that's that's really good. That's really good. That's good timber in right there. I think this will be out of the way. Yeah, still catch the drama. I want the internet to be with me and catch the drama. Like this week on Stevie Stringer, the trees find out you're not my dad. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm your daddy. Oh. No, Jerry Springer had the weird ones. Montel show. Bo Montel? Well, everybody, there was lots of them that were doing. So what Lee and I decided is do the little one first because that might be a full load. The weird back one, it is cool. I don't it's think on video you can see how cool it is. Bigger than the rest. 
but three of them grew together and then you go up you see the hook up there can you see that like the eye of Saron? So that will be my Charlie post in one of the rooms. Literally and three trees. I will polish this and then wood preserve it. I think it'll be so cool. And of course it'd have conduit running down it then and power. Yeah. All right, so it doesn't matter. I might drop them both at once. Uh, yeah, since then, they go in yeah. different directions. That's a good idea. Get a twofer in there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because they won't be underneath my feet. But they're both uh, in the canopy. And you know, that one, uh, the top part of it, the one with the thing, has two more posts that would come exactly. off. Exactly. Yeah. It's like it's three yeah. trees. Three trees. It and is three one. trees. And then when they hit the top, they broke, they branched off again. Exactly. It's so cool how that happens. So underneath the oak tree, we're not getting rain down at all, but there's an appreciable little chow out there. Thank God for rain in Texas. Thank God for oak trees. Thank God for oak trees. Thank you. Thank wow, this thing's pretty big around at the bottom. You know, he grew and he hit that oak and, and then, then he just kind of scooped yes, him. Yes. So, you know, last time I started cutting one, a bird's mouth here with that much compression, it just pinched the saw. I think I'm just going to cut. Exactly, cop. that's what I was thinking. I'll bake a little notch. How about that? Just a relief notch. But I won't bother trying to make a bird's mouth. Mm. It's already pinched. I mean, that was an inch in and it was right. pinched, right? So it's under a lot of stress. And I hope it just drops right out of there. Alrighty. Here we go. It didn't even move. It didn't move, but I heard it crack. I need a break on my back for just a second. <sighs> I wish if we had a thing. You mean to get the axe? Which I don't, I forgot them at home. So, I mean, that plastic tub, I can't forget. That's where I have all my stuff. All right, well, let's get this on the ground. See, you've really needed that notch in there. All right, see how loose my chain's getting from usage? Let me tighten that. We talked about that last time when I'm lazy. All I do is drop the chain off. Power to the tree, man. You know, uh, you just can't appreciate how strong trees are. 80, 100 tons of energy, you know. Power so to the tree. The post, way more than a board. Yep. You know, because a tree has all the tension. Yeah. It grows tension free. As soon as you cut it, you cut out the way the tree's balanced itself as tension. Mm -hmm. And so this thing, when it hit that, added an unusual force. So the tree adapted to it. Yeah. But, uh... I'm gonna get my jacket, my shirt. It is, it's blowing cold now. Hey everybody, it's blowing cold. I bet you we have to check for a tornado watch. I'll wait for you to get your jacket so you can yell timber. I want to do that today, though. But we got to go get the hey, tomato. Are you ready with timber? Tomato plants and the peach tree. Yep. Okay, I'm ready. That's it. Yeah! Woo! And 
I missed her sign. That's what I was worried yes, about. Yes, you. Oh my gosh, this ocean is beautiful. Look how pretty. Isn't it pretty? It is so, a cedar is so, and it smells so Look good. Look at that oak though. Yeah, the oak comes to life when you oh can see it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So now that we got the, the cedar out of there, Leah's able to enjoy the oak tree. First time ever, you hardly oh, noticed it before. I didn't notice it at all. Yeah. Yeah, he's stately. That's a beautiful, beautiful oak tree. Mm -hmm. So Ted's right about clearing out around it. And then I'll get that weird one. And that will probably loosen up for that oak tree and that. See, there's three oak trees. You hardly notice them. Yeah. Maybe well, four. Wait till he marks another set. Well, he's, uh, I got plenty of logging to do. So, but let me get this. Uh, the goal is to get it all cleaned up. That looks like a black It's a little weak. All right. That's get good. rid of these impalers. How about that? Kill me. All right, bird's mouth. Yep. I'm gonna do it up higher. Okay. Oh. Battery all dead. Let me do a little wrap-up video. Leah and I, the battery conked out on the in the cell and the uh, big camera, so the rain came, shoot us away. But uh, the big winners today is my little Mahindra. That's one tough mf'er, and uh, these Ryobi cordless chainsaws. Now, I I, I know I can't compete with uh, you know a professional still with a big 42-inch blade. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying these were 40 foot logs, right? Foot high, some of them 17, 18 inch around, maybe bigger even. Uh, I'll have to go back. And uh, we, the Ryobi, uh, that was, that sawed, the battery sawed five, six, eight, eight of those big trees. So, so I got to clean this up and oil it and everything. But listen, these are really something. Uh, you know, I'm really pleased with Ryobi overall. Uh, you know, it's not going to last a hundred years, but for the price, 350 bucks, uh, a man can log. I'll, I'll build this house with that chainsaw. In addition, a little 12 well, on with the 12 inch uh, setting a blade, you know, that one I use inside to cut timbers and, uh, <clears throat> and you see that I use it just like a circular saw. So. Uh, anyway, uh, those are the big winners. Let me go ahead and show you here in the rain. There's a inch and a half of rain that's been coming down. I'll show you my poor wet horses so you can appreciate. Now, I don't complain about rain in Texas. It's a blessing. So I'm uh, do not swish me. Stay dry. I don't want to stay dry. I don't want to be flooded, but somewhere in between. Let me do this. Hey, boys, you guys look pretty wet. Let me uh, finish this video and I'll tell you what, I think it's probably five o'clock and we'll go ahead and take a look at that. But I got to look at my Mahindra, show everybody. 
So y'all been following my garden, haven't you? Uh, today I bought a peach tree and I got a bunch of tomato plants and pepper plants and all kinds of things and uh, 10,000 seeds. That's right, 10,000. I went on <laughs> I went online. I saw a hair uh, so supposedly heirloom non-genetic package of of all kind everything a garden could possibly want. Things that won't grow in my zone. Oh, sorry about that. Things that wills grow in my zone. So, uh, so I've cut um, four uh, really large entangled trees. They had grown up into a cedar and they were really uh, hard to work with because I couldn't cut a bird's mouth in them because they're under so much stress. But I got those, got them home on that. And then the poor little Mahendra rotate. The poor little Mahendra, I stopped before I got over my head and too deep but this clay base here that you know i'm going to overtop it and i'm going to put some uh um, landscape fabric over it as soon as i hit this it it just rolled off the crown of the the drive and i'm not into the barbed wire yet but i'm down to it but listen that little mahendra punches way above its weight look at that so that's a little 26 horsepower mahendra and that's 10,000 pounds of log. <laughs> two, two, maybe uh, 1,700 pounds, 2,000 pounds. Maybe a little more since I had the backhoe on it. That all steel, I'll tell you. This, uh, and uh, if I was so inclined uh, and I wanted to undo the chains and work in the rain and the lightning and pull, I could get that tractor out. But see, we got a truck on the other side of the drive. I've got both generators all topped off. There's no reason for me to do anything other than just admit defeat, park the tractor here, let the rain blow over, give it a day, come up with a chainsaw, pull those off a little at a time, use the backhoe and scoop the tractor on using its own hydraulics back onto the road and drive her home. Uh, one good thing about me is when I know I'm in over my head, I tap out and I rethink. I use my brain, not my brawn. <laughs> that, that is a strike. So anyway, uh, that, there'll be lots more logging videos. Uh, you know, this is a personal journey. I'm not trying to educate people and show you how to or anything like that. It's my personal build journal that I'm doing as I build off grid. What's taking me so long? Uh, one man builder doing it uh, all by himself, logging and, you know, cutting the logs and getting them up and uh, I'm getting there. I see a home forming up around my efforts. Every day I say, I'll do one big thing and one little thing. And uh, I think, honestly, I'm two years of drought. <clears throat> I'm two years into this build. I've got the uh, bedroom on Swede done. I'm living in it. Uh, I've got a lot done, just a lot done, all from a, a scrub forest here in Texas of uh, mesquite and cedar. Just a cedar scrub, rotate. And you know, I have a nice pretty little house there, the promise of a beautiful home. And I did the math on it the other day when I ordered the Hyper Adobe, 1,900 square feet. So it's not, uh, your tiny homes can be big depending on how you engineer them. So the two shipping containers that are sitting there, you see the bedroom on Suisse getting there. Uh, but anyway, this journal is keeping track. Today, I quit when my tractor got stuck. Now I'm stuck in here. We'll have to take Hank Trail. We'll have to walk through the woods to get to the truck that uh, we wisely parked because we knew the rain was coming. So when you live off grid, the one nice thing is you pay attention to the world, not politics, not Facebook, not social media. I'm talking about God's grace, the world. What is the real thing, right? And uh, you learn to live in harmony. I'm a dry cabin out here, which means I don't have a well. So, you know, we I stocked up and got in order. And, you know, I'm going to do fine through all of this. Plus, I love rain. So, like, subscribe, follow me along. Thanks much. Bye.